welcome back to my channel, Crafting a Country Life. I'm Andrea. I wanted to um, come on today and share um, something for Saturday Morning Makes. Um, and this is a Halloween swap that I'm doing with my sister, Annette, over at Nettie H Creates. And um, I've been working on this, you know, as time allows over the past month or so. And uh, we had such a busy start to the school year. I went back to school in September. We had um, a wedding in the family. You know, there was there were trips to take on weekends and last weekend I was away. So I haven't had as much time to um, just sit down and craft. So um, I finally was able to finish this swap up and I wanted to jump on and share it. I hope everybody's well. Things are great up here. The weather's starting to cool off a little bit in the Northeast and the colors are starting to change. It's just such a pretty time of year. So anyway, let me jump right in and show you what I've got here. Um, I created, first of all, this little, this little pumpkin bag. And you can see, I used the 110 pound cardstock to make the base. And then I used the, this is Joanne's, um, black glitter paper, open stock paper. It has just a little bit of sparkle, not too much. So I use that to create the pumpkin face. And um, the die that I used was the Scrap Divas pumpkin bag die set. I had just received it about a week or two ago. So this is my first time trying it out and I really love it. It comes with the, this face here and then it comes with another face in the set that had little eyelashes on it so if you wanted to do a girl pumpkin you could do that so i put that on both sides little face and i just added some nouveau drops here in the uh, uh you know in the eyes to make the uh the pupil on the eye and then over here on on the front and then i added a, a vinyl bow with a little uh gem on it and inside let me show you what i did here um I put this parchment paper in that I had gotten at um, Home Goods last year. It's pretty and really crinkly, and it's got some cute little pink and orange and black, uh, you know, ghosts and pumpkins on it. So I tucked that inside, and then um, inside the bag I placed some die cuts. Now, we decided for our swap that we were going to do... Um, let me get, get the paper here and I can show you. We decided to do a clipboard with a dangle, a shaker embellishment, uh, a package of 10 die cuts, a store-bought craft item, a small charms container, and a sequin mix. So I did that. I probably went over 10. but um, So what I included in the die cut package, um, here I just put a little tag on the front with some chenille yarn, and then the first package on the top are cut out uh, stars with stitching and some ovals and scallop shapes. And I tried to choose colors that I thought Nettie might like. And then um, the package beneath it is all different sizes of rectangles and squares in Halloween papers that I stitched around on my sewing machine. So she can use these as backgrounds or tags or whatever she'd like. So that's the first the first item there and here's the back I just love this this is the Prima um, Frank Garcia Halloween papers that have been coming out the past few years I think one of them is called Luna one collection is called Luna another collection from a couple years ago is called 31 and there's another one called Twilight so there are papers from all three of those collections combined into some of the packaging and projects that I worked on here so let me tuck this back in the bag and then I also included in this little pumpkin bag um, a little Halloween cutout. And this has kind of a vintage little witch on it. So I tucked that right inside. Okay. And then I, I got a spool of ghost ribbon at Michael's. And I just decorated the uh, outside of the spool with some Halloween paper and a little foam sticker of a spider. And here's the back side. So she can use that. I hope she I hope she likes it. I thought these ghosts were really cute. They're kind of sparkly on a satin ribbon. Aren't those cute? 
So Michael's was having a sale. I think they were 50% off. I picked this up just this past week. Um, so yeah, so it was a very good price. And I had a, um, a $5 voucher that I was able to use and my teacher discount and so on. So actually did quite well. Okay, the next item that I created is this little uh, skeleton. And I purchased this package of skeletons uh, from Walmart, I think last year. They're just little flimsy flimsy little plastic skeletons, but I decorated it up and I put some some netting around her and with some glue and made a skirt and I added a, a seam binding bow. And then I created this little tag out of one of the cutouts from the Prima collection and just tied it to her head with some uh, chenille yarn. I thought she came out really cute. So there's that and here's, here's the back, yeah. These came in a package of, um, I think there were four or five different colors, lime green, purple, orange, black, and so on. So we'll include that in with the swap. And then um, I created this little, um, okay, it's just a little clothespin on the back of a Dollar Tree wood piece. And then I added some, um, let me hold this up nice and close. I added some little ephemeras and nouveau drops and a puffy ghost sticker and flowers and netting here just to dress it up. And I thought that was so cute. So it's holding this little coin envelope clothes that I created. And inside I put some, uh, some text sentiments for Halloween. So those are all tucked right in there. And the little clip just goes right on top here. So that will go down into the package. There it is up close. Okay, and let's see, the next item, I put this little pillow together. I got this at Dollar Tree, the little pillow itself, and I just added a, a satin bow that I made with my bow it all uh, tool. And one of these, I think I got these at Joann's a year or two ago, these little jingle bells. And they have a Halloween face, like a pumpkin face on them. It's a little hard to see in the, with the filming. but So I tied that onto the side. So there's that. And for the shaker, I created this little package with the Prima collection. And then I embossed some uh, coral colored cardstock for the background. And I used a repositionable dot for the uh, shaker itself. It's a tombstone. And if you look really closely, you can see there are uh, little shaker uh, bits inside. These are little clay bits and sequins, a little metal ghost. And then I did a die cut of a glittered ghost and added it to the side here and uh, added some little flowers. And then a tiny little sticker of a pumpkin that says boo at the bottom. And then I just tucked it into the package with some cobweb and ghost sequins. So this will be this will be fun to open up. And let's see. The clipboard. Here's the clipboard that I created. And the dangle here on the side. Let me hold this up a little bit closer so you can see what's on it. All right, see if we can't Take a look, there's different kinds of beads on here. I put it on some Hobby Lobby silver chain and I included some little uh, charms that I have in my collection. Here's a little witch cat, witch cat head here, uh, some other beads here. And then there's a little pumpkin over here and an eyeball bead, I don't know if you can see that too well with the lighting, but right in there. And a few other little assorted things. I think this one's really cute. It's a tiny little skeleton. Yeah, so that created the, the charm on the front, and it's just held on with a lobster clasp. And then right up here, the clipboard is, uh, has a, bull, a bulldog clip on the, on the top. Okay, and then underneath, here's the back of the clipboard. Okay, and I'm going to take off the, there's a package here, a couple of packages. So that's the clipboard. Okay, and 
The package in the back has some bows that I created using um, some uh, bow dies that I had in my stash. This one has a button and there's a gem here and a tiny little white glitter spider and then a little rubbery black spider on this one. And these all have the repositionable dots so you can take them off and use them. And then this package has some words. Some of them are foam mounted on cardstock or vice versa. And then I just put some glitter paper at the top with a hand handmade die cut bow and a little holographic ghost. So those will go down to my sister for the swap. And this was so much fun to put together. I can't even tell you how much fun I had working on this. So there's the clipboard. And this over here is a tiny little milk carton house that I made up. And again, I used the 110 pound cardstock for the base. And then I used a little bit of a polka dot um, background paper and then all these little die cuts of different Halloween images, you know, tombstones and crows and windows. And then I did some Nouveau drops at the top with at this on top of this holographic gingerbread trim. And over here is a, a, a cobweb with a little glitter pink spider, a little glitter ghost, another tombstone here, a little bat up here, and this third side again, you know, kind of similarly done. And the front of the house with the doorway and the little pumpkin in the window, and little crow on the roof. So let's open this up and I'll show you what's inside. Um, I actually picked this box die up at Tuesday morning last year. The, uh, the only Tuesday morning in my area up in Dedham, Mass. Um, took a, quite a long ride to get there, <laughs> but um, they were closing up. So we went in just to see what they had. They didn't have much left, but they did have this die and I got it for seven or eight bucks or so. And so anyway, inside, I have this cute little charm bag filled with all kinds of Halloween charms. And I'm going to show you the sequin mix that I created. And I placed that in the bag too. So we'll uh, take that out. Here's the sequin mix. Get this up close, as you can see. So it has uh, beads and resin pieces, lots of sequins and little holographic bits and so on. So there's that. And it's you know, primarily the yellow and orange tones in that. And then the charms. Well, these are just really cute. I've been collecting for a while, so there's quite a bit here. There's a little rubber cat head, a black cat. There's a little charm, little creature charm. And then a little ghost. Leaves, a couple of these I actually put into the, uh... there we go. My camera is actually flipped upside down. Normally I, I film with my camera facing the other direction. So I tend to be off in the corner a little bit and I have to get under the, under the camera, which is now on the left side of my iPad. Okay, well, I'm just gonna show you these up close this way. It might be a little quicker, a little easier. Okay, so there's a skeleton charm there and little pumpkins. Some more of the little rubber spiders, pumpkin beads close pin clips and dangles and so on. Little pumpkins. There we go. It's a little witch hat up here. This is really cute. So yeah, quite a nice little assortment. So those will go right into the organza bag. And the secret mix goes in there as well. And this goes right into the little, the little house. So there's that. And I pulled this paper bag out of my stash. I'm going to fill this with candy and some other goodies to send to her as well, but I just thought the color on this was really a beautiful, deep, rich orange with some yellow and black. I love that. Yeah, a little paper bag. So there's that. And I think that's it for the swap itself. Um, and as long as I have you here, I'm gonna share a couple of Halloween bags that I made using my sewing machine. Here's the first one. Now these fabrics I had purchased at Joann's this year when they had their sale. 
you know, just small amounts, a third of a yard or a quarter of a yard, and I put them together. It has a box bottom, so you can see the seam here, and purple handles, and there's the, the pretty print. So this is lined with uh, medium weight iron-on interfacing. That's all I put in there, and I think it gives the bag just enough stiffness for what I want. So I was happy with that. And then the other bag that I made a little while back, this is a Christmas bag. Now this, um, the directions for this are on Crafty Crafts by Deanna. If, if you're familiar with Deanna, she's just the warmest, most friendly person. And she shares a lots of um, projects that she creates using paper crafting and sewing. And um, she does craft fairs. So lots of times she'll share projects that she creates for that. So this is one of those. And she gives you all the directions and shows you how to sew it and put it together if you're not familiar with bag making. A beginner can do this. It's, it's not difficult. This one I used... Um, fat quarters that I purchased from, believe it or not, Dollar Tree, you know, for this kind of project. I, you know, I don't have expensive fabrics for these um, particular projects, but um, the Dollar Tree uh, cottons seem to be fine for this. I lined it with uh, um, iron-on fleece, uh, and I also put decor bond inside this to give it a little bit more stiffness. So it's also a little bit thicker than the Halloween bag you know, because it's got the fleece, this one has the fleece in it as well. So it's just a little bit, uh, you know, like fluffier and and thicker in the, in the sides there. So yeah, so those are the projects I've been working on recently. And I'm hoping to get this swap out in the mail uh, next Saturday. And hopefully my sister Annette will really love it. And um, yeah, I think that's it for today. I have a few haul items I'm going to share, but I'm going to do a separate video for those so that this video isn't too, too long. But I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you back again soon for some more crafty videos. Take care. Bye for now.